This video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. Today's video is brought to you by a viewer named Ken who sent in his Xbox One X to a repair shop who said they could fix it, but unfortunately they were not able to fix it. So I told Ken to send it in to me and I'd see if I can fix it for a video. And even better, Ken sent snacks. I'll be taking a look at the snacks later, but let's get this Xbox One X taken apart and see if it's something I can fix. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is plug this in and make sure I can replicate the issue. So it definitely powers on fine, but we have no signal on the TV. This is a super common problem with the One X. Many times it is the re-driver on the motherboard, but it can also be the HDMI port or even possibly the hard drive. So now I'm gonna take it apart and get a look at this motherboard. Well, there definitely is some good news and that is that it looks like all of the screws are in place. That is sometimes rare when you get stuff from other shops who have tried to fix something. I can already see some capped on tape on the motherboard. So I'm not sure what that means. That'll be interesting to find out. Okay, and we have the first missing screw. There should be a screw here and a screw here. At least we have this one. And we're missing the padding that goes over these power cables. Not really a big deal, but no reason to not put it back. Now let's take a look at the motherboard and see what exactly this shop did. So on the bottom side, the only place I see where they did something is right over here. Let's take a closer look at that. So they definitely did something to the HDMI port, but they have all this protective thermal tape here. Do they do anything under here? Doesn't look like it. We got some old dried flux and stuff. But other than that, it looks like they just use this for protection against maybe a hot iron or something. It looks like they were trying to get this soldered on correctly. So the real story is gonna be on the other side. Let's take a look at the top side of the motherboard. So the first thing we need to look at is whether they put in the perfect amount of thermal paste. Oh, and they actually didn't even replace the thermal paste. This is just the factory thermal paste. So that's interesting. Anytime you remove a motherboard out of a game console, unless you've just replaced the thermal paste, you need to put new thermal paste in. Once this seal between the APU and the heatsink has been broken, then it needs to be replaced so then it can create that good seal again. Now down to the fun part. And this area right here is where I'm guessing all of the problem lies. Let's take a closer look. And more capped on tape. It's strange that they left it on. I don't know that it necessarily causes a problem in most cases, but it is just kind of weird that you'd leave it on there. So I can tell they've definitely at least tried to replace this port. I can't tell if they were successful. I'm gonna take a look under the microscope and that should give us some hints as to whether they even ever got this off. So taking a look at this HDMI port, it looks like this is a brand new port that they have installed here. All of these little pins look like they're mostly connected but also back inside here, I can't really show it on the microscope, but back inside here, it looks like some of these pins might be connected. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just redo all of these 19 small pins. And then after that, we'll turn it on and see if that's enough to get it working. The two other things that commonly cause problems on these motherboards are this re-driver chip right here. This, I would say, in my opinion, is the most common cause of no display on your TV but this little chip right here also can cause that problem and the hard drive itself can cause it as well. But since they've done some work on this HDMI port, I need to redo this work anyways. So I'm gonna do that first, then we'll continue the testing. The viewer that sent this in sent along some Canadian stacks and the first one is cow chips. I've never had these before. They are chocolate covered potato chips and that sounds amazing. Oh yeah, if you ever get the chance, these are amazing. He also sent along some cheddar pop. Never had these either. So they're just like little cheese bits, it looks like. It's like crunchy cheese. A little weird, but actually pretty good. 
so cow chips and cheddar pop definitely get a thumbs up from me now let's get this board fixed so we're gonna bring in some flux and flux just helps the solder flow now i'm just gonna come in and touch up each of these solder joints make sure they all look good So now all these solder joints are soldered down to the board correctly. Now I'm gonna get this thing put back together so we can test it. I'm guessing there's other problems on this board, but this will rule out these solder joints. Now I have it put back together just enough to test. Let's see what happens. So now I get the exact same screen as before. Now that we have that HDMI port all fixed up and I know that's working good, now we can move on to other things. So I'm first gonna try another hard drive in it, see if that brings up the screen. And then if not, I'll move on to replacing the ReDriver chip. And here we are with a known good hard drive installed and the exact same problem. That tells me that it's most likely a re-driver issue, which is what I suspected from the beginning. So let's get that replaced and see if that fixes it. Thank you to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. I've been using my Ridge Wallet for the past nine months. It's light, sleek, and fits easily in my front pocket. It can hold up to 12 credit cards, and there's also room for cash on the back, and there's also over 30 different colors and styles. The durable materials they use means that each wallet comes with a lifetime guarantee. You could buy one wallet and use it for the rest of your life. Speaking of, let's see how this Ridge wallet has fared during the last nine months of being in my pocket every single day. Sometimes I'm just here in the studio, but other times I'm crawling under houses, working outside, or sitting at my editing desk. Here is the front cover of the Ridge wallet, and you can see there is just no wear at all on the front cover. The elastic part of the wallet also is in great condition. There is a little bit of paint rubbing off here and a few scratches and scuffs on this corner. Same with this corner over here. The carbon fiber on the back of the wallet also looks great. There's a little bit of paint rubbing off on this metal money clip, as I would expect since it's been in my pocket every day for nine months. I think my Ridge wallet is still looking great after nine months of continuous use, and the Ridge team is so confident you'll love yours that they give you a 45-day free test trial. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash tronixfix. That's ridge.com slash tronixfix and use code tronixfix for 10% off your first order. I'll put a link in the description that'll take you right there. Now back to our video. Now before I start this thing up again to see if that chip fixed it, I think we need to address this thermal paste. I think once I have the perfect amount of thermal paste on here, it's probably gonna work a lot better. For any of you wondering, that is a joke. Thermal paste will not cause this problem and it will not fix this problem. Now we're nice and close up to see this perfect thermal paste install. And there we go. Now we can put this thing together and see if it works. Now I've got it together enough to test. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, there we go. Yes. 
So can your Xbox One X is now working, even though you were ripped off the first time, now it's working great. So the first shop that was trying to fix this was trying to replace the HDMI port, which they did. Unfortunately, that's just not what the problem was. Any shop that deals with these a lot would have known that. So if you're looking to get your game console fixed, make sure you take it to a shop that knows what they're doing. If you're looking for a mail-in service, I recommend ShaneFix.com. Thank you to Ken for sending this in for a little bit of a repair challenge for me. Also, thank you for the snacks. Thank you for watching it, and I hope you have a good one.